Good morning. Welcome to a new syntax class. Today I would like to show you something that I found in a book. It says partes del día in Guarani. And you have con e, you have pujare b, as a y, etc, etc. Notice that con e covers el alba, el amanecer, la primera luz del sol. And then pujare b covers la mañana. Okay, so if it is 8 in the morning, 7.30 in the morning, when you start your classes, is Pujarebe. If it is 8 in the morning, is Pujarebe. Like that. Yes, correct? Is that correct? Well, this guy, the author of this, his name is Saro Vera. He wrote a book called El Paraguayo, Un Hombre Fuera de Su Mundo, and he talks about the concept of time in Paraguay. He says that people do not get the punctuality thing, right? And he says why. According to him, people uh, work with blocks. Con e, one block, pujare b, another block. So if you arrive at 7.30, 7.45, or 7.50, you're still in the same pujare b block. That means you're not late. As according to him, <laughs> concept of time is very different. Well, the same happens with tenses. Tenses are general, like these Guarani blocks. Okay, they are general. They tell you present, past, future, but they don't tell you exactly when things happen. What thing? What? What factors, what situation, what tells you exactly when things happen? Aspect. And this is what we're going to cover today. Aspect in Spanish. Right? So if you look at your syntax manual, that would be lesson 10, Spanish verbs, aspect. Yes? That would be page 31. 31, yeah. Spanish aspect. And it says, it talks about the auxiliary verb, yes? And it covers uh, or it conveys a lot of information, yes? And one of these important information would be aspect. It says the primary modifications of the auxiliary verbs are aspect and tense, okay? So two things that I'm telling you. Tense is like a general blog, while aspect is super specific, all right? And for aspect, we have initiative aspect, terminative aspect, and imperfective aspect. So you can see three of them, but there are only two, actually. In Spanish, the initiative and the terminative aspects are only one, the perfective aspect, okay? So we have two, then. We have, on the one hand, perfective. On the other hand, imperfect. What does perfective mean? It means tiempo per pretérito perfecto. Tiempo past. Complete perf perfect past. All right? And we have imperfective. We covered imperfective last year when we studied verb conjugations in Spanish. Imperfective verbs finish in ia or ava. As in corría, cantaba, saltaba, leía. All right, so ia, ava are imperfective. There are two Spanish past forms then. The perfective one, the real simple past, and the imperfective one, right? We will see each of them. Let's look at the examples. El nene anduvo a los seis meses. When it says anduvo, do you think it refers to the fact that he started to walk when he turned six months? Or that he already walked when he was six months. What do you think? Yes, you're right. He started to walk when he turned six months old. So, el nene anduvo. Anduvo is pretérito perfecto, simple past, or pretérito imperfecto, abaía. Which one? Yes, it's simple past. It's pretérito perfecto. Then, we need to decide. Is the action starting? Initiative or finishing, terminative. El nene anduvo. 
anduvo conveys the idea that he started to walk when he turned six months old. Started then has the idea of initiative. The, the verb anduvo then is in simple past, that's the tense. But which aspect? The aspect is perfective in initiative. Perfective initiative. He started to walk, right? Then we have another example. El nene andaba a los seis meses. Is andaba perfective, simple past, or imperfective, ia aba? Yes, it's ia aba. It's imperfective. Andaba a los seis meses. What does andaba imply? That he started to walk? No. Andaba means that he already knew how to walk before six months. And he already was in the middle of it, right? So, this is imperfective aspect. Right? The tense is preterito imperfecto. And it means, conveys the idea of in the middle of the action, of andar, right? Imperfective can convey three different uh, meanings. In the middle of an action, an habitual situation, as in, yo manejaba, yo andaba en bicicleta cuando era niño, yo andaba en bicicleta cuando era niño, andaba, habitual situation in the past, or repetitive action. Okay, we will see that later. Number four, three says, el nene se cayó, cayó. Cayó is pretérito imperfecto, perfecto, simple past, or ia aba. Is pretérito perfecto, simple past. So, it's perfective then. And is it initiative? Did he start falling? Or terminative? Did he reach the ground? He reached the ground. So, it's terminative then. He finished falling. Yes? So, it's perfective, terminative. Tiempo, pretérito imperfecto. Aspecto, terminative. In, a perfective, terminative. Number four, el nene se caía. Se caía el nene. Can you imagine the nene cayendo? Se caía el nene. Yes, he was in the middle of the action of caerse. Lloraba mientras se caía el nene. Yes, so he was in the middle of the action. It's imperfective because it's ia aba. Se caía. Yes, he was in the middle of the action of caerse. Then number five says, golpeó la mesa. Boom, golpeó. Do you think he started to beat the, the table? Or did he finish doing it? He punched it once. He finished it. Most verbs, most perfective verbs are terminative. Remember that. The only ones that are initiative convey the idea of starting. As in, empezar, principiar. Zarpar. Zarpar means when the, the boat sail, starts to sail, right? Etc., etc. The ones that convey starting something. Then we have golpeaba la mesa. Golpeaba la mesa. Right? Golpeaba la mesa. Perfective. Initiate. Imperfective. It's imperfective. In the middle of the action? Yes. Habitual situation, maybe, depending on the context. Repetitive action, yes. Repetitive action. Golpeaba la mesa. Right? So, re let's recap then. There are two tenses. Pretérito perfecto, pretérito imperfecto in Spanish. Let's forget about the tenses. Let's focus on aspect now. Two aspects. Perfective, imperfective. Perfective can be Initiative or terminative. Imperfective can be in the middle of the action, repetitive, or habitual situation. Okay? Very good. What does the manual say? Aspect then is either perfective or imperfective. Two options. Perfective forms in Spanish are represented by the preteric conjugation of the verb. Perfective forms in Spanish are necessarily past tense. Imper imperfective forms may be either past or non-past. Why does it say this? 
imperfective forms may be either past or non-past. What is imperfective past? Ia ava. Ia ava is imperfective past. What is non-past? Non-past is present, future, whatever. Whatever is not a perfect past is non-past. All right? Be careful with that. Everything that is not a perfect past, a simple past, then is imper imperfective and is non-past. Right? Let's look at the chart. Look at the chart. It says primary. Primary means obligatory. This, this meaning, this aspect, is conveyed by all verbs. And there are only two. Past or non-past. Non-past meaning present, future, whatever. All right? Only that. So, imperfective non-past would be habla. It's present. Imperfective past is hablaba. The ia aba, remember? And the perfective. Is it initiative or terminative? Hablo. Right? So, you need to study the chart. You need to read the manual many, many times, right? Let's do a practice exercise. Let me see. Let's put this down so that you can see it better. We need to analyze. Trabajé en la embajada versus trabajaba en la embajada. Trabajé is a verb. The verb is in simple past, in pretérito perfecto. Now, what aspect is it? Is perfective. Every time the verb is in pretérito perfecto, in simple past, then the aspect is perfective. What we need to decide is, is it initiative or terminative? In this case, it's terminative. Trabajé. No, not anymore. Trabajé en la majada. Versus trabajaba en la majada. Trabajaba is imperfective. Yes, imperfective. And we need to decide, is it in the middle of the action? Is it repetitive situation? Is it a visual situation? What is? Trabajaba en la bajada. Okay? So it could be a visual situation or in the middle of the action or repetitive. Either one. Right? No encontré la casa. Encontré. What are you supposed to write? You need to, you're supposed to write, encontré is a simple, therefore, is perfective. Which perfective? Terminative or initiative? Terminative. Like this. No encontraba la casa. Encontraba. Encontraba is imperfective. Which one? Habitual situation, repetitive action, or in the middle of the action? In the middle of the action. He was looking for the house and he couldn't find it. Okay, so he was in the middle of looking for the house. And he couldn't find it. Okay, task for you. You need to do the exercise, okay? Do all the exercises and we can check them later on. Tomorrow, we need to continue with secondary modification. So, but it's better if we stop here and you deal with primary and non-primary. Uh, sorry, with perfective and non-perfective, meaning imperfective, yes? Read the definition, read the examples, etc., etc., do the practice exercise, and I'll see you tomorrow again. Goodbye.